Welcome back guys to Phoenix Wright Spirit of Justice. We're here in Turnabout Revolution. We examine the office of Archie Buff's room, trying to meet him and finding him dead with MSI investigation. Dirk now cannot get his hands on the founder's orb that he's come all this way for. So with that, we kind of search for it throughout the room. I mean, there's another orbish looking thing right away here. So if it brings the eye, why don't we check that out though? There's other things I want to check out as well. It's a golden statue. Looks pretty old too. Hmm. I imagine it has great archaeological value. Maybe too great for a private researcher of Dr. Buff's caliber. I wonder how he got his hands on something like this. Now, all the things from these old cases. Ami. Hmm. Why is someone's name written on here? Maybe it's so if it ever got lost, someone could return it to its owner. You know, like how school kids put their names on things. Yeah, but this is just an urn, and the name is written so big. Well, I wrote my name on my magic panties. It says R-W-I-G-H-T in super big letters. W-R. Did I say that right? <laughs> like, did I even spell that right? <laughs> less said about this, the better. Yes, the less said about that, the better. I'm like going, uh? Wait, did I read that out in the right order? My brain is now saying I didn't, even though I maybe probably did. Look, it's one of the doctor's notebooks. Maybe there's something about the orb in there. <laughs> it's a photo of the treasure box. The one from Temple Temple's treasure room. These must be his research notes on the founder's orb. What's that on the right page? It looks like a poem or something? Let's see. No, oh, it's the song that's performed during the Dance of Devotion. It's been sung during Karani's rites of offering since ancient times. Oh, it's something important then. Oh, I think I've heard of that. There's also a legend associated with the song. Some say the solution to the orb's riddle is contained therein. It's in a song everyone in Karai knows. Not much of a way to keep a secret. It's called Hiding Secrets in Plain Sight, Polly. Earth's magicians know all about that. Hmm. That's strange. What is it? Dr. Buff's notes contain the second half of the song. Only the first half is sung during the Dance of Devotion. Most people haven't heard this, even heard the second half, so what's this? Offer like prayers as fervent as fire, only then shall the Holy Mother return. Descending upon us in all the glory, the founder bestows the greatest power known. I like how that's just added on another line, like, uh... I ran out. I wrote too big. The second half. As in the part that begins, offer like prayers. I'm impressed. That's some thorough research he was conducting. Right, the research notes 21 has been added to the court record. Research notes on the song ceremony and the box containing the founder's orb. So that was important. Now, gravy stain. Got a little dino here. A big dino. A coffee maker and a bunch of coffee cups. That's not what I clicked on! He must have taken his coffee breaks here. Oh, there's a filter with old coffee grounds in here. <sighs> Guess I'd better clean this up. Really? What are you doing there, son? Ah! Uh, what am I doing? Cleaning this office? Don't tell me they have you on coffee duty back at your office. N no, no, it's just if I don't keep the place clean, no one will. Poor Polly. What a huge wall relief. Hmm. It seems to depict a spirit channeling. Hey, the spirit medium looks like the Holy Mother of Korain. Yeah, her face was left blank, but the rest is clearly detailed and well crafted. Did you know some researchers claim the Holy Mother had three eyes? And that her third eye was able to divine the truth, just like the gods above. It is said to be on her forehead. Like you said, you shouldn't believe everything you hear. Alright, can I get the skull behind there? No, let's get the backpack. A backpack? Suitcase. That's one big suitcase. It's locked. Is it the doctor's? Nope, someone left it here last night. So the doctor might have had a visitor, but how can you tell? That sticker there. You only see those on airport luggage. Which means its owner is likely from overseas. 
Is there any way to figure out who it belongs to? Well, unless we can open it to see what's inside. Guess not. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Who are you? That's because you're not me. Ah, it's Emma. Emma Sky, forensics expert extraordinaire. Try as you might, you won't find the word impossible in my forensics handbook. Uh, it's your case, son. It's like she became an entirely different person. Oh, that's just what happens when her forensic switch just gets flipped. With this, identifying the suitcase's owner will be as easy as pie. Is that fingerprint powder? That's right, and there's no better time than the present to use it. Here we go! You remember how to do this, right? Yes, I remember it took me 10 billion years to find fingerprints on that coffin. I apply the powder to where I think some prints might be and blow any excess off. Exactly. Well, have at it. Hmm. Now, where would I expect to find prints on a suitcase? We'd expect to find it near the class, really. Or technically... I can't... I'm just... I realise I'm not on a webcam, so I can't show you the motion I'm doing. You close it from the sides, so maybe or, or on the stickers as well, because of course you'd be putting the stickers on. So there's fingerprints too. So let's just apply everywhere, I guess. The problem is, as I talk, I blow. I'm not actually looking at the right screen either. Right, blow! Let's use the blow button. Actually, I found something. I've legit found stuff. Life is good. Is it on the red one there? Hey, I found it! Blow! Why do you not respond to me saying that? I'll just keep shouting at you now. Can we analyze these prints then? Hey Emma, I've got a pretty clear print here. Okay, now let me know who you think it could belong to. Huh, who could it be? It would have to be someone who would have paid Dr. Buff a visit. We don't have a large list of people that could possibly be here. No, 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 no. Oh no. Das! Are you killing people for this orb? And last is to 12. We have a match found. Yeah, it didn't take me seven minutes this time. We have a match. That's Come to think of it, he did stop by to see the doctor, didn't he? To conclude the orb transfer agreement. So he is the one who forgot his suitcase here. Where do you suppose he is now? I haven't heard from him in a while, and he's not answering his phone. Wait, you don't think he left his phone inside his suitcase, do you? I wouldn't put it past that knucklehead. Actually, I think we may have run into him earlier. Really? A suspicious man had been reported in the area. But when one of my officers approached to question him, he took off like a shot. What? Sorry about that. Karani's people aren't all like him, I swear. Well, he's probably still in the village somewhere. Maybe he knows something about the orb. Maybe he does. Shall I talk to you anymore or move on from here? So moved into the village, have you? Was there anything else to examine in there, by the way? It's not saying I've definitely examined everything this time, though. It's a spiral staircase. And it's connected to a hallway up there. Why'd they have to place the second floor so high up? Wait. You're not afraid of heights, are you? Oh, um, well... Oh, Polly's hilarious around high places. He gets all wobbly like a baby deer taking his first steps. And his face is as green as a watermelon. It's not nice to make fun of people's phobias, you know. 
And the thing of it, the visitor's entrance is on the second floor. What an odd layout for a house. Oh. Now we've examined everything. It seems the orb isn't here. That means Dats might be our only lead at this point. Detective Sky said he might still be here in the village. We should try to find him. Well, now we know we've examined it all. <laughs> when it chucks us straight out and says, Move on, young one. I will see pastures new. Or well, pastures old in this case. People new, however. Good day to you, citizens of Korean Village. My name is Paul Atishon, and I want your vote. Wow, that's really loud. Was it? Look, something's coming this way. Paul Atishon, saviour of Karain, has come to... Ah, it's you people. Apollo, what is that strange conveyance coming this way? Right, left, right, left, oh! It's one of those, what do you call them? Palanquins? What the hell are you? So, you finally left Dr. Buff's house. What were you doing there? What a bunch of shady looking characters. And you aren't? So I take it you knew the doctor? Hmm, <laughs> what a foolish question. I memorized the names and faces of the entire electorate here in Kalein. After all, I am the man who's destined to be king of this fine nation someday. Not a nation. Um, who are you? What do you mean king? Ignorant fools, I am the Pauletishon. A moment he pauses, because while he was saying it's Paul Atishon, but then he tried to roll it into one and it became politician. And then he cringed silently in the background. <laughs> I'm a soon to be eminent politician, a man whose name will go down in history. You should be ashamed that you've never heard of me before. Is he really that famous of a politician, Apollo? Not that I know of. I'm running for a seat on the local council right now. I guess even Jerk Q Public has to start somewhere. But my election is a sure thing, I'm told. After all, my grandfather was a famous politician with untold influence. In short, I'm the chosen one, the golden boy, the powerhouse of politics. And rider of his grandfather's coattails. <laughs> Are you blinded by my majesty? Go ahead, bask in the resplendent glory that is me, the chosen one. Um, sure? Ah! A pleasant day to you, good people of Karain. I am Paul Letishon. It's time to reclaim the glory of Karain together. A convenience store on every corner. A karaoke bar in every home. A vote for Paul Letishon is a vote for a happier, hopier Karain village. Turn off that infernal racket, you old fool. You're a stain on your grandfather's good name. Thank you, good sir. Your support is appreciated as always. I guess he's one of those people who only hears what they want to hear. In other words, he's a model politician. Ha <laughs> ha! Politicians suck it! Now, where was I? All right, you were in the doctor's house. Just what in the world were you doing in there? Hmm. Okay, let's talk to politician. Find out what's going on. <laughs> Is this what you ride around in when you're campaigning? That's right. It's perfect for the narrow roads and steep hills here in this village. It has a top speed of five miles per hour, but it suffers from serious reliability issues. Namely, these imbeciles tire out too quickly. <coughs> we'll try harder next time, sir. Poor guys. They're exhausted and covered in sweat. The Otishon family has been in politics for generations, even back in the old country. Politician dynasties are weird. Really? My grandfather, Abe Otishon, was a prominent member of Congress. And he was born right here in Karain. There isn't a person here who hasn't heard of him. All I asked about was his palanquin. You must have heard of the Otishons. I'm even reviving old country campaigning style. Oh, um, politics aren't really my thing. Trucy. I don't recall ever reading about them at school. Fair. 
Young people today, you people really need to pay more attention to politics. Technically true, but still. So, what business did you people have at Dr. Buff's house? He was going to transfer ownership of, Founders Orb, of the Founder's Orb to us. It's a sacred relic from the Kingdom of Karain. The Founder's Orb? So you tried to get your hands on it, did you? Wait, what do you know about the orb? Hmm, I know that it's mine. That's what. How'd you figure that? Because I know it's not the Founder's Orb. Its real name is the Crystal of Ami Fei. The Crystal of Ami Fei? That's right. It's been passed down for generations in the Atishon family. Until it was stolen, that is. But just when I had zeroed in on the culprit, the doctor hid it away and then kicked the bucket. So you're saying Dr. Buff stole your family heirloom? That's not what Dirk said. Strange. But I've been told the doctor himself said that he had the founder's orb. It's all that weird foreigner's doing. He filled the doctor's head with nonsense. Nonsense like the crystal of Ami Fey being the founder's orb. Weird foreigner? Could he mean... Is this the foreigner you're talking about? Oh, we can make an easy guess about who that might be. Take that! Yes, that's him. I thought so. Now we really have to find that. Do you know where this man is now? I imagine he's at the detention center by now. I called the authorities after I found him hiding my dog's doghouse. What? That buffoon. Well, at least we know where he is now. Let's head over to the detention center and see what he knows about the founder's orb. So, you really are after my crystal. No, we're looking for the founder's orb and we have an agreement to prove it. Well, just you know, you're not going to lay a finger on it. It's mine. And I intend to give it to my benefactor. Your benefactor? Let me guess who that is. My benefactor is ready to support my rise to the pinnacle of the political world. Uh, they have immense influence here, you see, and I intend to harness that influence. So you're just going to give your family heirloom away to this person? That's right. It's a purely political decision. And in exchange, your patron will get the people of Karain to vote for you. <laughs> Eminent politicians are skilled at leveraging new all of their collections. Connections, even. And their collections, by the look of it. Isn't it legal to buy votes? Well, good luck with that, I guess. <laughs> you just wait. Politician will reign supreme someday! Bye then, politician. Great name you've got there. Oh, wrong place. <laughs> I went down the list, but actually the next one ended up in the middle of the list. Technically, I could talk to you. No, I can't. Go away. <laughs> we don't need you, Emma. Let's go see how Dats is doing in a new prison. Don't look shifty in a prison, Dats. It's not a good idea. Hey. Yeah! What's he doing under the desk? Foul cogs of the corrupt regime, I've nothing to say to you! That's... it's me, Dirk. Oh. Dirk! Yes, I've saw eyes! I knew you'd come save me! Well, this is another fine mess you've gotten yourself into. Ha 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 ha! My bad, my bad. At least the grub is pretty good compared to that prison back home. You get three square meals plus a place to sleep. Why don't you join me, Dirk? No thanks. They just sent me back to Karaim where I'd face immediate execution. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't be such a good idea. Looks like he's still the same too. Long time no see, Dats. Huh? Hey, you look kind of familiar. Uh, Apollo? Is it really you, my boy? At eight of the J, all grown up and whatnot. How have you been? Fine. And you, Dats? You look good. Besides the incarceration and all. <laughs> Those horns, AJ! Horns? They've grown up with you, just like a stag's antlers. I can't take it! <sighs> you really haven't changed a bit. Anyway, there's something we need to talk to you about. 
Sure, pull up a chair. After all the time in the world. The slammer's like the second home. It's really not so bad once you get used to it. That's a problem, isn't it? People get accustomed to that life. He's rather laid back for someone in police custody. Are you used to it, you know? About the orb, Dax. Dax, was what the doctor had really the founder's orb? Absolutely, positively. A doc was sure of it. Really? Because someone from the village is calling it the crystal of Amy Fay. He also claims you are filling the doctor's head with lies. That ain't true. The doctor said he was sure it was the real deal. All his fancy research confirmed it was the founder's orb. So then that politician character was lying. Imagine that. A politician who lies. I bet he wants the orb all to himself. Huh. I wonder who's telling the truth. Well, take a look at this. It proves the doc believed he had the founder's orb. Let me see that. I agreed to hand over the Founder's Orb to the Defiant Dragons. It's the second bit. If I will come to no harm. Signed, Dr. Archie Buff. See, I got all that in writing. But that. Why does it say, if I will come to no harm, at the end here? Sounds like he was scared of you. That. Did you friend the Doctor in any way? No, you got it all wrong. It was the Doc's friend. He told the old man his rebels were dangerous. It's his fault the doc fought him at him. Sounds like the work of that politician. He's really made a mess of things. Right, the orb transfer agreement has been added to the court record, but I feel like if I present that in court, that last bit of the line will always come back and uh, haunt me if I ever have to use it. Oh no! So you're arrested for trespassing, I assume. What have you done now, that's Nothing? I'm innocent, I tell you. It all started when this dog-faced cop tried to question me. He looked so funny, I started laughing at him. That's when they came after me. But it was hilarious, I tell you. I mean, a human police dog? How funny is that? Right, so, what happened after that? They caught me hiding in a doghouse. Damn pooch rat me out. I guess that's what I get for laughing at one of his doggy comrades. Sounds like the dog's got the last laugh. That's, weren't you cleared of those jailbreak charges? And your capture by Lady Kira deemed unlawful? Yeah, but the cops here don't seem to like me anyway. What are the charges this time? Unauthorized entry or something like that. They think I'm an illegal alien. And I can't prove otherwise because I lost my passport. Is there any way they'd let you go? Not without my passport. If only I had it. Dirt. AJ, you gotta find my passport. All right, we'll find it. One more thing to add to our to-do list. Now, where might Dats' passport be? Oh, about the orb's whereabouts. Maybe the doc's kid knows something. The doctor has a kid? Yeah, a bit of a shut-in though. The poor thing's own bedroom has become like a self-imposed prison. A shut-in? Sounds like it'll be a challenge just to get a conversation going. Time for your questioning, follow me. It must be lunchtime. Today is fried chicken, if I'm not mistaken. You'll get your lunch if you behave yourself. So, AJ, I'll see you guys around. Our only lead now is Dr. Buff's kid. But luring a shut-in out is not going to be easy, I know. Well, let's move on. I was wondering if you'd have any ideas, but I managed to click examine instead. Oh, what? Well, same text. Quick skip, quick skip, ah, quick skip. I wanted more, more talking with Foster Daddy's son. Come on, tell me more. All right, so where are we going? Back to the doctor's study, maybe then. I'm just wondering, maybe I was skipping a bit too far forward, and I should go in Korean Village, the normal way. Oh, it's you again. I am at. Looking for Mr. Wright. He was just here a second ago. He was? What was Daddy doing here? Good question. He said he was looking for something. Did he say anything else? Let me think. Something about how his ride never showed up at the airport? Yes, that was it. I guess Athena really did get lost. 
But what's Daddy doing all the way out here in the first place? He can't be looking for us since no one told him we'd be here. Hmm. Well, if you're here to take another look around, be my guest. I have other work to do, so if you'll excuse me. Of course. Thanks, Emma. First and foremost, we'd better find Dasa's passport. We should also have a word with Dr. Bus Child. Hey, is it just me, or is there something new in here? Yes, there is on the floor there. Oh, you mean that thing? Yeah, we should take a closer look at it too. Let's not forget about Dasa's passport. It should be around here somewhere. Well, maybe we can just smash open his blooming thing. His suitcase, as it were. What's this? A model helicopter? Don't you know anything, Apollo? It's a drone! They're all the rage right now! I bet it belongs to the Doctor's kid! If only drones look that cool. We need to ask them about the orb's whereabouts. Yeah, but luring out Shutton isn't going to be easy. Well, shouldn't I have looked at that a bit more? I feel like I should have. That's a suitcase. Maybe his passport's in there. Ah, it's no good. It's locked tight. We should have asked him for the key. What are we going to do about Das's passport? It's probably right there inside his suitcase, but we can't get it open. Why don't I take it over to Dat so we can unlock it? That way you guys can continue looking for the orb. Good thinking, Trucy. Okay, here I go. Huh? What the? Huh? This thing weighs a ton. Let me try. Jeez, how can a suitcase be so heavy? Is it filled with bricks or something? Knowing Das, he probably packed his dumbbells in there. It's certainly much too heavy to lug all the way to the detention center. Here, let me take a crack at that lock. What? Are you going to pick it? There you go. That was fast. <laughs> a lock like that is child's play to me. Especially after all the wrongly imprisoned compatriots I've busted out over the years. You've sure seen a lot of action for an ex-lawyer. And here we go. That's his passport. I'll take it over to him. No, nope, it's secretly a weighted passport. You're never going to make it. Thanks, Trucy. No problem. Now you guys enjoy some quality father-son treasure hunting time, okay? See you later. There she goes. I wish she wouldn't make such a big deal out of our little family situation. Father-son time, eh? Hmm. Been ages since we've had a father-son talk. Her son. Yeah, well, over a decade. So, Apollo, um, how have you been? Oh, uh, fine. I'm fine, I guess. Is yeah, that so? Fine, you say? Well, fine is fine by me. Good to hear. Um, okay. Um, so what do we talk about now? Huh. Get down! Hit the dirt, son! Huh? What the? Ah! Ugh. Speak to me, son! Say something! Oh, that, that's smart. You maggots! What do you think you're doing invading buff airspace? There'll be a scorching day in Siberia before you get past me, you yellow-bellied yahoos! Whoa! It can talk? What kind of drone is this anyway? Die! Don't nothing! That sergeant buffed you, soldier! You got that, you lowly grunts? Ow. What the who now? Buff? Sounds like the doctor's son is buying the controls. He's controlling this thing? Apollo, let's play along for now. At least until we can get the information we need out of him. G got it. 
Um, Sergeant Buff. Sergeant Buff, sir! You forgot to say, sir! And you never seen a war movie before? Oh, right. Let me try that again. Sergeant Buff, sir! Better. Much better. Now, state your name, unit and rank, soldier. Oh, um, I'm Apollo Justice. I serve at the right anything agency. And my rank is, um, fledgling lawyer? Sir. Affirmative. Private justice. P private Listen up, diver baby. Your commanding officer's orders are absolute. Disobedience means a one-way trip to the firing squad. Do I make myself clear? Oh, um, sir. Yes, sir. Good, good. We might make a man out of you yet, Private. Now for you, Cyclops. Huh? Oh, uh, you want my name? Unit and rank two. Um, I'm Dirk Sadmali. I command the rebel group that define dragons and my rank is, um, leader, sir. Excellent. Welcome aboard, command Commandia Dirk. <laughs> Wait a second. What's with that ridiculous mop you call a head? Soldiers should be clean cut. So, sorry, but this is my signature look. I'm not going to... Whoa! Fine, fine. I'll get a haircut before we ship out. This is not you. It's kill or be killed out on the battlefield. No place for leaving conditioners. All you've got is your life, and you're lucky to have that. It's only obsessed with field survival for someone who never goes outdoors. This is going to be harder than I thought, son. Indeed it is. And so we talk via drone to Dr. Buff's son. This is going to be an interesting one. I love this design with a mustache and all. The son with a soldier kind of fetish by the look of it. Stay at home army wannabe. I do not get it myself. But we'll find out more next time on Spirit of Justice. Bye-bye.